What's up YouTube? This video isn't going to be the usual outdoor videos which I usually post on my channel. But instead, it will be about this GoPro Hero 7 Black that I usually use to shoot videos. And lately I've been having this freezing up problem which I know many also uh, have to deal with especially with the GoPro 7, 8 and I think it's also happening in some of the latest models I have already already tried many ways as you guys have suggested or posted on your channels as well I have tried formatting my SD card manually updating the software through my SD card and replacing the battery as well but I still had no luck uh, it still freezes up same issue has been happening over and over uh, I've been uh, changing the settings and preferences it suddenly hangs up uh, whenever I uh, record videos around 30 to 50 seconds it freezes up and still had no solutions until today but I have probably sorted out this because I also know the GoPro 7 also have issues with its power button wearing out like what happened to mine this one was not really like this when I first had, uh, observed this problem just had a slight tear on the upper part on here because it's designed to be like this right then I just discovered that it had a tear right above here and if you've watched some of my videos you probably notice me uh, submerging my GoPro underwater and <clears throat> I did not know that it had a slight tear on this part therefore it's also the reason why water has got into my GoPro without even noticing it so I tried to look for tutorials online on how to tear down a GoPro then uh, I started first what I did was remove the lens twisting it counterclockwise and then remove this front panel using a plastic piece by slowly prying it on the sides until it has come off and then what I did after was using a very tiny torx screw to remove all this one two three four five six torx the main problem was there was a corrosion right from this uh, power button all the way going uh, where is it going up here here on this button until until this part on the microphone and when I open it uh, I'll post a, a link of the videos that has actually helped me a lot in, in disassembling this GoPro it's a channel called wait, Rimsler which he actually did a full tear down including the power buttons really careful. and everything so after tearing down my GoPro including this part right here 
and also removing the battery compartment I have found out that the ribbon cables the ones that are connected with the ports are actually having corrosions on them so what I did was I had to clean up uh, spray it with alcohol then brush the ports off so I'll just leave you a little rundown of the process please also be aware that uh, before performing any of these steps that I'm going to teach you uh, you are also aware of the risks involved in this process like permanently damaging your GoPro or any unforeseen problems that may uh, come up during the process the procedure may or may also vary depending on your technical skills or capabilities I for instance I am a, a computer tech by profession many years ago and I have main experience with cell phones mobile phones laptops and MacBooks that is why I don't really have that much trouble disassembling this piece off because more or less it's just the same with computers and again perform this process at your own risk first you have to remove the battery off then your SD card keep it in a place where it doesn't uh, go flying around like this one then right after we'll remove this six pieces of torque screw using a very tiny uh, torque screw driver and right after removing all those screws what you will do next is to pry up this panel right here uh, be extra careful because there's a tendency that you could damage this front screen so just do it gently and slowly as much as possible use the plastic price prior not what like I have because I lack the tools so I just made use of whatever I have at my desk Okay, after carefully prying out everything you'll actually see this very small ribbon wires connected to the main board what you'll have to do is to slowly and carefully pry these three ports as well then you'll be left with the battery port you don't actually have to remove this rubber piece just gently pop this thing off then here you will have your motherboard your lens in one piece and then what I did after was also remove this battery compartment by prying off from this part on here since what's actually holding this together from the main panel is just in uh, an adhesive so you have to carefully insert a plastic piece to remove or detach the adhesive from the panel by pushing this all the way down and try not to really insert this plastic sheet, uh, plastic material on this side because you also have ribbon wires uh, connected uh, ribbon wires running from here all the way to the screens so you want to make sure you stay on the left until it eventually uh, pushes through and by doing so 
this compartment is going to detach and one way to remove this is to uh, slide this to the left until this latch aligns to this uh, what you call this this part right here then you can just gently pull this one off let me see yeah just like this one like that then just gently just like that and after doing so next thing you're gonna do is remove these screws uh, just just this one screw but I didn't really have to take everything apart because the problem that I had was on this port right here I think this is uh, the microphone stereo microphone I guess the corrosion actually happened or took place right on this port I don't know if you can clearly see that this port right here so I had to detach this ribbon cable spray alcohol on it and then clean the whole thing off and that's it after reassembling my GoPro Hero 7 Black here it is fully functioning and no longer freezing up on me I have already tested like uh, 5 to 10 minutes long videos without even hanging up or making weird stuff while filming and I hope this video is going to help you guys solve your problems and if it did please give this video a thumbs up and have fun filming.